G'day folks, filmed a bit of a clip on how I set up the grow bed over the top of the sump tank the other day and neglected to show you a method that we've used to plan out seedlings. Uh, Bianca asked me why I didn't um, use that method when she was having a look at the clip as I was editing it, so she sent me down here to film this one. It's a pretty basic little system that we use um, just basically to keep the clay out of the hole as you're digging it to plant seedlings out. Um, other people have done it, I've seen people use it on forums and that sort of thing, so um, I can't take credit for this at all and I don't want to, um, but it could help a few people out there. I'm not too sure whether it would work with scoria or volcanic rock or the larger 20 mil or 3 quarter inch rock as well. Um, I'm not too sure how it would go with that. I would think it would work fine for pea gravel. Uh, pea gravel seems to be a little bit more fluid in its motion like the round um, clay ball. So anyway, I'll stop chatting and I'll get up there and give you a bit of a look at what I'm talking about. So one of the problems with working with this stuff, when you dig it, because it's cylindrical roughly in nature, um, when you dig it, it tends to roll back down into the hole. Uh, it's not so bad with um, shallow rooted plants like this, but when you're starting to talk like the bigger ones like these net pots um, and these other small net pots down over here where you need a slightly larger hole, it can pose a bit of a problem. So what I've been doing is, I put it down and forgot where I put it. I'm just getting a section of uh, 4 inch or 100 mil. it's just an off cut um, scrap and what I normally do is just push that down into the clay media like that, pull all the clay out, that way you're only pulling out what you need to whatever, to whatever depth you need, you're not spreading it all over the bed, it's nice and neat, you pop your seedling in there, you have the base roughly where you want it um, in the level of the clay and you just backfill. Um, you can use clay from anywhere, it's easy enough to smooth out after the fact. And that way the, the roots are nice and secure and you can just pull that out, nice and neat. The crown's pretty much all where I want it, you just level off the clay. So there we go, that seedling's pretty much all happy and I don't think we're going to have a problem with it whatsoever. Just quickly, if you're unlike me and don't have, you know, bits of stormwater pipe laying around, you can use old pot plants as well, just you know, make sure you give them a bit of a wash unlike this demonstration model. Uh, it does the same thing, just push it down, give it a bit of a um, circular movement into the clay and it, and it gives you a nice space there that you can you know, empty out and get your seedling down nice and deep. So I'm going to be using something similar when we plant out these root pouches a bit later on. But I just thought I'd give you a bit of a look at this now. Um, it's, very, it's an easy idea, you could pretty much all use square pots, round pots. An ice cream container or a yoga container would do exactly the same thing. So this method also works with the net pots that we use. They're small enough to fit in here. Just dig out the clay. I've popped one of the celery just in a net pot. Just sit him in there. Oh, it needs to go out a little bit further. Just sit him in there. Whoops. Pull away the side. The clay falls in around it. And away you go. You're pretty much all planted. Most people will probably laugh at that and think it's a bit silly, but when you're planting um, a whole grow bed out, say you're planting 30 or 40 plants, something like this does make it a lot easier. Um, otherwise, you're digging your clay over um, the top of other plants that you've already put in and that sort of stuff. So there you go, just a little bit of a tip. Um, hope it helps someone out there. And I'll come back later in a later clip and show you how I use a similar idea with the grow bag. So there you go, folks. Any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below and I shall get back to you. Other than that, hope you all have an absolutely fantastic one, and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers, folks.